Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a really simple do-it-yourself seed starter that you should be able to make with items you have laying around the house such as a Tupperware container and a ice cube tray. You're going to want to drill holes in the bottom of your ice cube tray or create some holes any way you can. Uh, the bigger the better. It's the more room for your roots to get down inside of the reservoir. You're going to start by tracing this tray on the lid of your Tupperware container and cutting out a hole in that area to allow the ice cube tray to sit within the lid and have access to the water below. At this point we're going to fill our container with regular tap water and fill it to a level where the ice cube tray just barely has access to the water below. I'm going to be using the Grodan AOK -OK starter cubes for this project, which I will provide links to in the description below. I'm simply getting these wet um, about three quarters of the way up and then placing them into my ice cube tray. I'm making holes in the tops of some of these Grodan cubes to plant extra seeds just to make sure that I get enough sprouts. I'm going to be growing lettuce today and to get started I'm going to rinse and then soak my seeds for a couple of hours. I'm going to put one or two seeds in each of the holes in my cubes and then allow these to start to grow. If you have a similar size Tupperware container you can use the base of that unit as a lid to cover your seedlings. This will help to keep humidity inside of the container and assist in the early growing stages. If you really wanted to go the extra mile here, you could take steps to darken the bottom container to stop light from getting into the root area. This would help the plants, but ultimately isn't necessary. As you can see from the clip here, these seedlings are about 12 days old at this point. Um, and have been growing in the seed starter. The roots of these plants begin to extend themselves quite quickly once they gain access to the water below and this will be of huge benefit to us when we transplant them into larger containers. And that's all there is to it. Good luck building your own seed starter and starting your own seeds. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos where I'll show you how to take these from seedlings to full-blown harvestable plants. Thanks for watching.